Garfield is delusional from the murder of his friend. The entire strip is a lie, created by Jim Davis to mask the guilt of the friend he murdered in cold blood. For years, Davis has been slowly losing his grip on reality and putting his existential crisis into the daily funnies. And people buy into this lie, day after day after day. Let me explain. Ever since the 80s, Garfield has been living a lie. It all began when Lyman, a character who was in the strip since launch, mysteriously disappeared from the series. Following his disappearance, the strip began to evolve more and more into unrealism. The titular cat began to walk on two legs, act more human-like, and interact with John in a more casual fashion. This was a large departure from the click. Harmless cat humor seen in earlier strips. This all culminated in a strip in the late 80s in which Garfield wakes up to an alternate reality. John is gone, Odie is probably dead, and the house he lives in is abandoned. He slowly begins to starve, lost in a time that he no longer knows. In order to escape, Garfield uses the power of denial to summon back his old pals. He creates a comforting illusion where he continues to dwell to this day. Jim Davis is Garfield. In the early 80s, a friend whom he lost contact with for a few years decided to visit for one night back in town from a trip. But what was supposed to be a few years with a buddy turned into cold-blooded murder. Jim became downright murderous when his friend reminded him of childhood memories that were best left forgotten. Memories of abuse, memories of violence. It was too much for Davis. He broke down, fueled by alcohol, and began to repeatedly bash in the skull of his friend with a beer bottle. He did so until it was nothing but a bloody pulp, a mush of rings and pus. His friend's dog began to bark and yelp at Jim, and so he silenced him by throwing the dog against the wall and kicking it into submission. The dog lived, but was traumatized and happily stupid after the accident. All the while, Davis had watched in apathy, staring at the whole incident, unaffected. Because he was the only one Davis cared about that was left, he began to treat his cat as a person. Talking to him, letting him eat at the table. He became insane. In 1989, a breaking point was reached. His cat died, and Davis was all alone. His dead friend's dog had run off and since found a loving home with a three-person family a few counties down where he lived out the rest of his days. Being alone, Davis crafted the demented, alone, Garfield strips. He demonstrated his ability to conjure an illusion, a lie to live because the truth was too ugly. To this day, Davis lives this lie in his own head. In truth, these were the last strips Davis created as a free man because he was soon found out for the murder. From an institution, he writes the strips, giving out the occasional interview that is uncharacteristically happy. To him, his friend simply left. His cat is alive, and the dog is playfully causing mischief. Jim Davis is lost in his own head, living a lie until the day he draws his last breath. Spread this story. The people must know.